Welcome back to the show. I am your Star Wars daddy bringing you another video on Yoda. We're doing a collection focused review on all of my Yodas in my collection. We got one right up there too. We can see that. We go over that as well. And we got a big old Yoda that is uh, up there as well. So we're going to go over all of these items and all of my loose graded my mint on cards, all that stuff. We got a whole slew of Yodas. And we're also gonna go over some of the shorts that I posted when I went to Indonesia and had Yoda with me the entire trip. So those will be popping up here throughout the video. And we'll do some clips of Yoda from the movies. So it's gonna be one long barrage of Yoda through this entire video. If you could do me a favor before we do anything else and get into this video, please hit the like the subscribe and the bell notification that really helps support me and brings people that haven't found me to me so that i can build a community here with my youtube account we're almost to our goal of 500 we're just a little bit shy uh, that really is where we can start doing some uh, additional things here on the show and uh then our next goal will be to get to a thousand and then um who knows where then we then it's just infinity and beyond after a thousand, that's what we're trying to do. And when you hit that bell notification, it'll help notify you of upcoming videos. We have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle focused video of all of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that are in my collection. All of them are graded. And so we're gonna go over all those items. That's coming up. We also have a June mail haul video. That's where I take all the things that I purchased over the last month that's gonna stay in my collection and we review all those items. There's some incredible things you've got to check that video out that's probably coming out next sunday there's also every single wednesday i have a video that comes out that are all of my ebay listing videos of all of my star wars items and those auctions end on sundays and it takes me a few days of editing and you get shout outs on a wednesday when the video comes out for all the purchases you made um, we go over the market we go over all that stuff so make sure to check those out if you're wondering where do I even find your eBay account? Just go down into the description. There's links there for my TikTok, for my Instagram, and for my eBay, where you can find all those items and you get personalized shout outs. It's a pretty cool gig and people seem to love those videos. But I think that is all that we need to do for some housekeeping. Uh, let's get into all of my Yodas. If once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny, consume you at will go through some of the miscellaneous items I have up here in this area before we get into all the graded items. Just real quick, I have this. It'll be up for sale here soon with a bunch of other card backs. This is your Kenner released card back. I am unsure of which version this is. There's so many different ones, but it's in really nice condition minus the cutout here. Otherwise, this card would have been awesome. Um, someone did a really good job of taking off the blister without tearing everything up. And then to go with it, I've got this that's in my collection. I have a bunch of Palatoy card backs that came in a collection I purchased from the UK. And the figure for Yoda, he's up in the collector's case behind the statue here. But it is the Palatoy uh, version of Yoda. And down here you can see it says England. Uh, so this is from the Palatoy factory. There's the Palatoy logo that's part of it's ripped off. But super awesome item. And then down here, oh, this is kind of cool. It's the Palatoy Droid Factory, which is completely different than what we had here in the States. And I uh, would love to get one of those in my collection someday. And I'm just going to lift the camera up and come on in here. So here we've got a Shane Davidson from Five Idiots Talking Toys and the Rogue Five Toys sales page. Here's one of his customs. I've got tons of his custom items, but he painted up this Yoda. So I've got that in my collection. This is... Right here is one of the only things that's left in my collection that's from my childhood, and it's this Yoda. <clears throat> I think it was a pencil sharpener is what it was. There was a little pencil sharpener thing that went in there. I've had this ever since I was a kid, and this is one of the rare items that's still in my collection from when I was a child. This is just some eraser that came through here I couldn't sell uh, from a collection, so I just threw it in next to all my Yodas. This right here is a little Mexican bootleg. It's a modern one to replicate 
uh, one of the old ones, which we will go over in this video. We've got here, we remember this from my Indonesia toy hunt. If you haven't seen that video, thumbnail just popped up. So you can take a look at that. The link will be down in the description. But there's that awesome Yoda. Over here, we've got those Disney mashups. So these are, were, I think they were only sold at Star Wars because I, or at Star Wars. They were only sold in Disney uh, in their Star Wars area. And these are mashups with the Muppets and other Disney characters. So this is the Muppet one. This is Rizzo. He is the Yoda. And then we've got Stitch here. So that's the Disney mashup with Star Wars. And he is also Yoda from like episode two or episode three. Uh, this would have been the Yoda from that. This is a modern stuffed animal that I picked up for like $5. And so that just sits in my collection as well. Then we've got here the statue. This is the Elusive Concepts st uh, sculpted statue by Mario Chiodo. It's out of 9,500. And here we can see that I've got number... I can't even read it. So much dust is on it. 2932 is the one I've got out of 9,500. And this came out in 1994. This thing is is incredible and it is large. Here's, here's my hand. Uh, this is, I don't know, two and a half feet, two and a half feet tall. And then up here is something very special to me. The person that made my logo for Star Wars Daddy made this metal print and you know what? I'm not doing it justice. So let me go over there real quick. So there it is, the metal print. He did this as a digital artist. It is Yoda out in space using the force and it's printed on metal. This thing is incredible and I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I had him make this for me and uh, he is also the creator of my logo. So props to Jared for that. He is awesome. He's one of my good buddies. If you've seen the links below, you've seen there's a band called Missing Jimmy. He was also the lead guitarist in my band. And so I, I love the guy. He is awesome and appreciate that in my collection. It's one of my um, favorite pieces in my entire collection. All right, let's get into my graded items. Here is a modern Yoda. This is from 1995. I'm assuming it's the power of the force yoda it's a u90 so this came off of a card um you know the grading companies no longer do this for any loose items they're not going to tear them off of a card and, and label them as a u for unopened but um you know it's a nice little figure the only reason i have it is because i paid like 20 dollars for it so whoever sold this lost a ton of money and the grading cost would have cost way more. But it's just a cool little item. And I was like, oh, for $20, okay, I'll I'll get that guy. This guy will be in a later video for a CAS unboxing, but I just got him back. It's the only Yoda I've got that's the Orange Snake, Orange Eye version in my entire collection. And this is the Made in Hong Kong tag. There's a little tag on the inside of the robe that had a couple different versions of what it could have said on it. And I think this one just said Made in Hong Kong like Hong Kong, it was actually written out, the, the like the Hong Kong. I think there's one that's just says made in HK. And then I, and I think one of them just says Hong Kong, I believe, are the ones. I could be wrong. If I'm, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments what the different versions were. But this got an 80 and a super nice figure. I sent this off to be graded. I'm just glad CAS got the made in Hong Kong label on there so that it differentiates it from just a normal orange snake orange eye figure but this is also coming out in a ces unboxing video that'll come out in a couple weeks and here's the counterpart it's the brown snake with the uh more brownish red cane with those pac-man eyes and this is an 85 and what do they say they say dark green pac-man brown eyes hong kong coo uh, super nice figure uh it looks like what do they call that doing a dab I think is what it's called, where you, you know, the, I'll put a little video of it right here. Uh, but that looks like what the snake is doing right there. And so pretty nice item. Honestly, 85 is great. I sent this off for a grading. It was a loose guy in my collection. And so glad to get that one at such a high grade. All right. This is a unique item. You can see it's an orange snake with Pac-Man eyes. 
And this is a transition Yoda. So it came on a 41 back uh, transition card. And it's the only Yoda that has the Pac-Man eyes with an orange snake. All the other Pac-Man eyes are going to come with a brown snake. And this got an 85. And I believe, I'm trying to think what the parts are. The parts are all cater. Um, you know what? I don't know. I'll put a little thing up here what all the parts are. But had to piece this all together. I had the figure. Uh, I had to make sure I had the right cane. I had to make sure I had the right robe. Make sure I had the right belt. But I got all the right pieces for this one. And this is an incredible item. I miss her. Mm, afraid to lose her, I think. Mm? What does that got to do with anything? Everything. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. All right, this is your common, not actually common, but it's the common version of the Little Letty. And this is your Regresso version. So it's the later version where more were produced of this version. This is what you'll commonly see. And um, it's got the tacky green paint that's on the hands and feet. It's got the Pac-Man eyes with that dark green head. They are all Letty parts that come with this figure. It's kind of a reddish brown cane that has an EPM that's somewhere up here. There's actually some green paint that actually came off from the hand that's on the cane. But this figure, uh, we go to the grade, is an 85. And super nice figure. It's a no COO version is that Letty. Awesome. And let's take a look at his counterpart. And here we've got... The Returno version, so this is the earlier version of the figure, and he actually has, let's see if you can see here, he actually has orange eyes. So it's orange eyes, and this was discovered, I mean, it's maybe in the last 10 years that was discovered that there, there was another Letty version, which is this orange eye version. All the other parts, I believe, are going to be the same for the figure. It's just the actual figure mold that is different. And this has a Hong Kong COO compared to the le or the um, no COO that the Regresso figure uh, has. But if we look at them side by side, they look pretty much the same except for their eyes. Their eyes are pretty, they're the only thing that's different and the COO that is hidden underneath the back of the robe. Super awesome items and uh, glad to have these. This could be my most expensive Yoda that's in my collection. We're going to get to another one that I really don't know what the value is of it. But this one cost a fortune. And it looks like your normal Pac-Man eyes, brown, brown snake, and the, you know, the normal cane. But this is a 1981 Pac Star Wars Yoda. It's the Apple head. And this came from the Spanish factory, the early Spanish factory. So it had all Hong Kong parts that were shipped over. They did the paint and assembly. And this figure is incredible. This thing costs a fortune. Super amazing item. And we let's, well, we're let's we gonna take a look at something in two figures that could rival what the value of this figure is. But before then, we've got a Mexican bootleg. And this thing is still on the sprue and the sprue means that all these pieces are still attached to the figure in mexico what would have done they would you would have spun these you know accessories and they would have broken off on these little pieces where they're attached but this is all still together it's a necklace so there's a little loop here that you could have put this as a necklace and it got an 80 i got this from five idiots talking toys from chris on the rogue five toys dot com sales page and it is a 1990s mexican star wars yoda necklace unarticulated bootleg meaning nothing moves on this bootleg it's just one static figure and it is on the sprue and look at I mean, look at this this paint the paint application they just chunked that right on there there was no care given to these they were just slamming these guys out but an 80s awesome and incredible unique item and here's the item I think might be comparable to that Pac Yoda. This here 
is a 1980s Mexican Star Wars Yoda necklace, semi-articulated, meaning the arms and maybe the legs move, with white snake and brown cane bootleg, still in its factory baggie, sealed, 80 plus. This figure is incredible. And the way it's sealed is just as one staple. That's how they, they uh, sealed these guys up. So it's a staple going through the bag. I don't know what this is worth at this point. I know what I paid for it, and it was um, pretty costly, just loose. But now being graded and being verified at an 80+, plus, this item is incredible. So I think those two rival each other. They could be um, pretty close in value, but this is an amazing item. This showed up on a recent CAS unboxing video. I'll put up the, uh, the thumbnail right here, and the link will be down below in the description. All right, we'll uh, go backwards here in value. This is a modern Yoda, and it's an 85-plus mint-on-card 2004 Hasbro Star Wars original trilogy collection, the Empire Strikes Back Yoda, but it's the Japanese-released version, and we know that because here's the Japanese sticker right here. So this would have been released in Japan, and that's the reason that I purchased it. I got this from Chris. Over at 5 Idiots Talking Toys and Rogue5Toys.com sales page. And this was going up for so cheap, I had to purchase it because it was basically being given away by Chris. And here's some more Japanese language that's up here in the upper right. But super clean version. I mean, this card is is identical to the, you know, to the the vintage ones, and which we're gonna go over right now. Here is an actual little vintage one. And you know, I guess I lied because here's the the orange snake and the orange eyes Yoda. I just didn't have a loose graded one. Forgot that I had one here, mint on card. And this here is a 75 plus. It is the Canada released uh, Empire Strikes Back 32 back dash B Yoda. The card got an 80, the blister got a 75 and the figure got an 85 for that overall 75 plus. Here's the back of the card. Super nice, and look at the look at the language up here. We got the Laguerre des Itoles. Uh, John, the action figure creator, says that way better than me. He practices all the time because he's always showing those videos that show this verbiage, and he loves to pronounce that. But this is awesome. Love having a mint on card Yoda, especially an Empire Strikes Back card in my collection. And last but not least, this showed up. In a CAS unboxing, which I think I've already shown the thumbnail, and we got a link down below. This here is a 2003 Oratet Limited Star Wars Yoda unarticulated bootleg, sealed, mint on card, 75. This The card got a 75, blister 85, figure 90. This is from Russia, a bootleg, still on the card, never taken off. It's stapled on there. That's what they, that's what they did. And, you know, I've already reviewed this before, so um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but this is an incredible item. And I'm so glad to have something unique like this in my collection. So we got some Mexican bootlegs. We've got some Mexican released Little Letty figures. We've got Spanish released Yodas. We've got sealed baggies. We've got mint on card. We got modern. We got a little bit of everything when it comes to Yoda. And we've got all of these awesome you know, miscellaneous pieces to go along with my Yodas and incredible artwork up there on the wall. Uh, what, what an incredible Yoda collection. He did my words not, did you? Pass on what you have learned. Strength, mastery, hmm. but weakness, folly, failure also. Yes, failure most of all. The greatest teacher Failure is. Okay, that's it. Those are all of my Yodas. What a collection. We had little Letties. We had a Puck Yoda. We had mint on cards. We had loose Yodas, card backs, uh, statues that are life size statues. We have artwork. We have everything that was Yoda. I actually just purchased from Chris at 5 Idiots Talking Toys at the Rogue5Toys.com Facebook group. I just bought a Yoda comic and it was so cheap I had to buy it. So that's coming in. So that'll be added to this all the Yodas that are here in my collection. 
And I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. If you have any questions about my Yodas or you think, hey, Mike, there's a Yoda you don't have and you need to have it, please comment down below. Uh, comments go a long ways. I think they go longer than the likes. Uh, the more comments, the more analytics say, oh, Star Wars Daddy's hot. Let's take all these people that are watching Star Wars videos and let's send them over to the Star Wars Daddy. So if you could leave some comments down below, I'd really appreciate it. And we still want to make sure that you hit that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification because that helps me as well. And until the next time, your daddy I am. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs>